for just three wins from 16 contests, hailing from Sheffield, Owen Gurdon! And here's the parents of Rothering in the red corner. Bring back a blue shorts, he can need a 10 stone 4 pounds. He brings the ring in perfect professional record. Two wins from two contests. From Southern, Yusuf Sakira Sain! Your timekeeper is still always in the room. The referee is not counting the double he scored. Outside the ring by Joe Clayton from Perry. This is the World to Win contest schedule for four three rounds. Well, here we go, four three-minute rounds in the welterweight division. Yosef Saeed in the black and blue shorts in his third professional fight. Looking to get busy immediately, and he's nice and light on his toes, Lee. Yeah, he's nice and fast. South of the back foot. Front foot, sorry. The lights have come on, Darren. Glad to see it. Owen Dernan, the Omen, Southport from Sheffield. Very tidy boxer is Saeed, good stance, good feet, nice and fast in and out with those shots, just got caught off balance there, trying to land a straight right hand, nothing of significance which was going to disturb him. Is it right that these two have got a bit of amateur? experience of each other yeah um, Saeed and Dern fought in Sheffield um, Yosef went over his ankle so obviously um, the fight went to Dern he got to the uh, ABA quarterfinals just before he turned professional broke his hand should have much luck no, I was going to say, doesn't sound like he's had much luck. Let's hope the pro ranks are much luckier for him. Dernan finds himself on the, on the ropes. As Yosef Saeed just picking his shots nicely. Not being too cautious, but a little. Yeah. Good straight shots, punches in bunches. Is there anything you're looking at, Lee, or you think I taught him that? <laughs> He's been with me for a few years. You, you, you know, as, as, as a coach, uh, Darren, I, I think they, they, they teach themselves, really. You, you help them along the way. But there's certain shots you, you can't teach him. His speed, his awkwardness as well, you know. He brought that with him. Yeah, I guess everyone's got their own style and... One of the things I quite like already about Saeed is the way that his lateral movement, the way that he kind of goes left and right and keeps his opponent guessing, but he doesn't smother his work or his work doesn't become untidy in the process. And that's a bigger skill than people probably appreciate it is. Yes, yeah, certainly he gets in and he gets out. He doesn't stay He doesn't stay where he can get hit. He gets in and gets out. You know, is, is it cautiousness or is it skill? It's a fair point. you can see from the action replays 
Yosef Saeed, definitely the busier fighter. And Owen Dernan having to do a lot of defensive work there. Round two of this one scheduled for four. The third professional fight for Yosef Saeed of Salford in against Sheffield's Owen Dernan. A busy start for Saeed in the opening round. He's got his eyes on the prize. He's, he's, you know, he's moving back as, as, as Dernan moves forward. Saeed moves backwards. seems that every time that Saeed gets close, sets him up with that double jab and goes to throw something a little bit bigger, Dernan just grabs hold of him, does he? Doesn't he? And just tries to stop that attack as, as soon as he can. Nice body shot. It, just, it looks just a lot sharper. Nice right hand there from Saeed. Nice change of angles. Well timed straight right hand there from Yosef. Reports out of the camp, he's been sparring very well. Been sparring very experienced boxers and doing very well with them. He's clearly dedicated to his craft, isn't he? The fact that he's got a full-time job and he's been through uni and all that stuff and has kept up his boxing and is now fighting as a professional in his third professional fight. Just shows that he's the sort of person, if he wants to do something, then he'll, he'll put his heart and soul into it. So you know him well, you know his personality, you know the way he ticks. What sort of advice would you be giving him in that corner? I'd, I'd say carry on doing what you're doing. Seems to be doing a, a, a number on Owen over there. Um, I'm not too sure if he's, there's a rumour coming out of the corner, he's hurt his hand, damn. Oh, but if he has, it will be... Uh, Experience for him, boxing with one hand. I tell you what, if he has hurt his hands, it must be so difficult to all of a sudden not ha be able to throw it. Looks like it could possibly be the right hand. He's throwing the left quite nicely, there, isn't he? He is. I would say it's the right hand if he if it is injured. Yeah, and you can see that he's pulling back a bit with that right hand. So 
but not giving it away. Too much anyway. Stepping out nicely. Doing a notch, offering much back. Yeah, Dern are not doing a lot at all to the point where I've seen referees in the past get involved and say come on you've got to do a bit more than this I think that's probably the first punch he's thrown in about 30 seconds Side completely and utterly controlling that distance. Jabs working nicely as well. Well, 10 out of 10 for work rate for Yosef Saeed. Be really unfortunate if that right hand or left hand is injured because that will put him out for quite some time. We believe it is the right hand from what we can see in here from the corner, which is just a few feet away from us. One more round to go. I'm sure he'll get the victory. Get their hands sorted and then back to training and back to moving towards the objective, which I'm sure he's got in mind. and won his first two then this ad's gone the road he beat a 7 and kid in October yeah it happens doesn't it it happens some of the journeymen away corner fighters they you know good amateurs decide to go down uh, that route and they bring a lot to um, the pro game as well especially fighting these up and coming prospects Some of them, my goodness, are they characters? Johnny Greaves was one of them. I can vividly see Johnny Greaves smoking a cigarette 15 minutes before he's getting his gloves on to go and fight for the hundredth time. And Owen Dernan just shook his head as Yosef Said caught him with a shot there to say, nah, didn't hurt me. Which typically means it did. 
Absolutely, reverse psychology. Been quite comfortable for Zahid, Darren. Very comfortable. Very comfortable indeed, even with one hand for two rounds. Well, I know he's thrown both of them, but that right hand is visibly not landing with too much impact. He's being clever with the way that he's boxing and the way that he's thrown it. Last 30 seconds of this one. So it's like 25 year old Yossi Sahid is going to march on to 4 0. 3 0, sorry. But a very comfortable fight for Yosef Saeed, who I'm sure will cruise to 3-0 and now. And we'll get that official score in just a moment. But big smiles on his face. for the decision. as predicted Yosef Saeed gets the victory and we move on to our next fight of the evening our 10th fight of the evening which will be between James Moorcroft and Dom Hunt 10 three minute rounds in a super weight division and this next one will be for a Commonwealth or is sorry for a Commonwealth eliminator for all boxing info news and latest interviews Amateur and Pro, across and off, click and subscribe. VIP Boxing Promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.